hope you're all doing well. We are currently in Sydney, Australia, and in today's video, I want to show you four awesome alternatives to really popular tourist attractions here in Sydney. Now, there's nothing wrong with the list of Sydney tourist attractions that I'm about to list out, but I just want to give you some other options to consider, some of them more budget friendly, others less unknown, but all of them worthy of being on your list of things to do when in Sydney. One of Sydney's most iconic landmark is right behind us, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You can drive across it, you can take a train across it, you can even walk across it. One of the most unique experiences with the bridge is to actually climb the bridge and be on top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Having said that, a bridge climb costs anywhere between $260 to $400, which might not suit everyone's budget. And if that doesn't suit your budget, don't you worry, I have an awesome alternative for you. So the Sydney Harbour Bridge has four pylons. There's one right there. And the Southeast Pylon has been open to the public since 1934, and it's home to the Sydney Pylon Lookout Museum. It's about 200 steps to get to the top of the lookout where you can get sweeping views of the city of Sydney, the Sydney Opera House, the water, and front row seats, the Sydney Harbour Bridge itself. And so without further ado, let me show you how you can get there. Now heading to the pylon lookout it's at the rocks we walk through where the rocks market would be usually on like friday to sunday but uh, we're going to take some stairs and then when we get there i'll check in with you again and we have just arrived at the base of the bridge stairs right behind me So close to one of the four pylons. All right, we have just arrived. There are about 200 steps that we need to take, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just get to it. Guys, we have just done 200 steps and we are now on top of the pylon. Pretty much this is like the highest spot you can go um, if you weren't to do a bridge climb. Guys, I kid you not, the views are absolutely amazing here. Pretty much it is a panoramic view of the city. You can see that the Sydney Opera House, you can get really, really close to the Sydney Harbour Bridge and you also get like pretty much sweeping views of the harbour. You get to see the ferries come in and go out. It's, it's really, really amazing. And here there's also a museum where you can learn about the history of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. just done with the lookout it was amazing but like i said before do check out the museum learn how the bridge was constructed the people behind the design and the history of the bridge and i spend as long as you want there i spent about an hour there because i took so many photos but you can spend anywhere between 30 minutes to five hours the lookout is open from 10 a.m to 5 p.m every day and general admission is 19 dollars per adult so yeah Go check it out but without further ado let's head to our second destination for this video next up cruising the sydney harbour now you don't necessarily have to go on a sydney cruise or go on a water taxi in order to experience 
all that the Sydney Harbour has to offer. You can explore and experience these amazing sights simply by taking one of Sydney's ferries. If you're short on time, take the ferry from Circular Quay to Darling Harbour. It's about 20 minutes and you sort of zip under the bridge and go around the Sydney Opera House. But if you do have a bit more time, take the ferry from Circular Quay to Manly. It's a little bit over 30 minutes and it's a classic. It's an amazing way to really experience the Sydney Harbour and to see the sights from the water. Once you get to Manly, there is so much to do. If you want to eat, go check out a cafe. If you want to swim, head to the beach. Or if you want to do some exercise, do the Manly to Spit walk. The, the options are really endless and one day I will make a video on things to do in Manly. So the fares are typically between six to seven dollars depending on what time you take the ferry. But if you were to go on a ferry on a Sunday, the Opal fares are capped at $2.80. So you can go on as many ferries as you want for the entire day and all you'd have to pay is $2.80. And now with the ferry done and dusted, let's check out the third item that is on our list for this video. All right, we've climbed the Pylon Lookout. We've soaked in the harbor views. Let's now talk food. Now Sydney has a pretty phenomenal food scene. We have pretty much every cuisine you're looking for from cheap eats to fine dining. And while we're on the topic of fine dining, I do have to say we do have some pretty amazing restaurants here in Sydney, some of which are ranked like top 100 in the world. And if fine dining is an experience that you're really looking for while in Sydney, one restaurant I'd really recommend that you give a go is a place called William Blue Dining situated here in The Rocks. So this restaurant is actually a student run restaurant and is open to the public for lunch and dinner to give vocational students the opportunity to learn and develop upmarket food and beverage skills in a live environment while supervised by industry experts. Going for the full three course meal would set you back 46 Aussie dollars which is a fraction of what you would otherwise pay if you were to go fine dining at one of Sydney's restaurants. Try to book in advance if you can because this restaurant is quite popular. I've never been able to get a seat just by walking in without a booking. Okay, so we have just arrived at William Blue Dining and ordered three different courses. We just had our entree, it was amazing, and now we're waiting for our maids to come. Okay, we are just done with the mains. I had a lamb, which was delicious, and my mom had a fish, which was equally awesome. And now we are just waiting on a dessert, which is an orange panna cotta. I've seen like them bring this dish out of the kitchen and it looks amazing. not least Sydney's views. Now we do have the Sydney Tower Eye where you can get panoramic 360 views of Sydney from the tallest building in this city. It's actually pretty phenomenal. Now entry to the observation deck of Sydney Tower Eye is $29 for adults but I've got an alternative for you. Now my alternative to that is to check out this amazing bar in Sydney by the name of Blue Bar on 36, situated here in Shangri-La Hotel. We are two minutes away, so let me show you what it's like.
Although not as high as the Sydney Tower Eye, being on the 36th floor, you are floating high above Sydney Harbour. And with the $29 you would have spent on admission fees, why not grab a couple drinks or one of the signature cocktails? I came here with the intention of getting a drink with my mum, but it doesn't actually open until 4 p.m. It is currently 2.30, we arrived at 2, and so we decided to go to the restaurant, so the Altitude restaurant, um, to grab a coffee, and the views here are just, it's phenomenal. <laughs> it's an amazing place to, to grab coffee, essentially. I was going to show you some of the drinks, but coffee is equally great, and yeah, this is, this is amazing. And that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other awesome alternatives to popular tourist attractions here in Sydney that you reckon I should check out. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't want to go to the house. I'm going 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 to go to the house.